into production are the 6,600 units completed and transferred out of the department, 5,940 work in process what's still in there at the end of the time period, the end of the month, 990, 60% complete with regard to materials and 30% complete with regard to the conversion. So then we're going to go down and compute the equivalent units of production. So the equivalent units of production. We're going to start with the units completed and transferred out of the department in June. And notice how easy this process is going to be. We're just going to say that that is equal to this 5940. And we're just going to say that that is it. It's going to be it for both the materials and the same for the conversion. Notice what we're not doing. We're not trying to break out the portion that was in the beginning uh, work in process. And that's going to be the weighted average method because we're kind of averaging out the beginning and ending work in process. And in doing so, it's basically less calculation. So when, when we consider the first in first out method, it'll be a bit more complex, although it might make a little bit more sense because we're assuming a first in first out flow method. In this case, we're just basically kind of netting out or averaging out the beginning and ending work in process and therefore the calculation is going to be a little bit more simplified the units completed and transferred out of the department in june we're just going to say is the 5940 and then we're going to take with that the work in process for june 30th the end of the month so we got june 30th the end of the month that was this 990. this one we're going to take into consideration the 60 and the 30 percent completed how did we come up with these numbers most book problems will